We are in Paris, in the middle of November 2008. A quiet American is waiting to deliver his message. I'm Richard Gage, architect of 20 years. I started, in fact, founded uh, the Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth based on the overwhelming evidence in the World Trade Center high-rises for explosive controlled demolition. We now, we now have 500 architects and engineers demanding a real investigation of the events on 9-11 relative to the building collapses. David Ray Griffin was talking about the, 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 the expulsion at 55 miles an hour of the core columns and perimeter columns from the building landing uh, 600 feet away and uh, the ends of the beams dripping with molten metal. Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth is also a website funded by Richard Gage and intended to put online a petition to support the theory of controlled demolition. Another conspiracy theory? Not for the FBI. In a surprising letter recently sent following the request of the American citizen about the current state of the 9-11 investigation, an assistant director of the FBI, Michael Hembach, qualifies the theory of Mr. Gage as interesting and backed for research and analysis. Don't be surprised then by the growing success of the conferences delivered by Richard Gage all around the world, like in the theater of Paris recently. After all, it was a fairly successful black op operation. If, if they did one, they can do another. We're all just kind of waiting for the next one to come to consolidate the next level of political control, to consolidate the next level of fear in the people, and it is not good. According to a Zogby poll of 2006, a third of the American people is skeptical about the official narrative of 9-11. In the summer of 2008, another poll made by the Maryland University showed that a majority of nations believe that the Bush administration let or made 9-11 happen. People are still wondering what happened exactly in that fateful day, and some of them are going of our, around Richard Gage looking for answers. The architect coming from California is a new lead to consider for the French skeptics surrounding him. It was a good night. We had good numbers. 250 people, many of which were unaware of the 9-11 truth having to come face to face with the reality so difficult as to cause us to question everything we believed about our government. If it was our government, we don't even know that. About our world. About our media. Why doesn't our media do their job and get to the real questions about these collapses. I don't know. Time to go now, but not without confronting the evidence with a team of French journalists waiting for bashing their new American lunatic. Thermite was used to bring down all three World Trade Center towers. Et ces mêmes personnes s'estiment plus compétentes que ce monsieur puisqu'elles ont un diplôme d'ingénieur et non pas d'architecte. Et ce monsieur nous disait pendant sa conférence que lui-même ne connaissait rien en démolition contrôlée. Donc ces personnes disent qu'elles sont plus compétentes et qu'elles-mêmes These engineers consider themselves to be more competent than you because you say you're not an engineer and you don't know about controlled demolition. There are plenty of people who are experts in controlled demolition and explosives that are signed on to our petition. Let's have these, these engineers that you're talking about talk to those who are experts in controlled demolition who have signed our petition so we can begin to get at the real truth. Let's have them show up at one of our presentations uh, that we're doing around the world now. 
Let, let's have them respond specifically to the evidence for controlled demolition, such as the free fall collapse of the building against 80,000 tons of structural steel. A crackpot nuts for France 2, an interesting theorist for the FBI, and a hero to celebrate for his French supporters. Whatever will be the truth, Richard Gage, as a man, seems to enjoy his new life of a political activist. And guess what? When it's time to leave, it's a former British spy of the MI5, the famous animation, who takes him to the airport. A strange guide for a strange man.